What's up everybody? It's Dr. G. I hope you guys are doing good. I wanted to come by today just to answer a question that I received. I keep getting that question so I figured uh, let's just make a quick video and do a question and answer on that. But before we proceed, I do want to appreciate you guys for subscribing, liking, and commenting on the videos. I'm gradually building this channel and trying to get as much information as I have to those that need them, right? So anyway, so please go ahead, like, and subscribe. I really do appreciate that. So the question for today that I have is, is it worth it for IMGs to go ahead and apply with their USMLE Step 1 scores only? And my answer is no. And the reason that's not a good idea is because you sort of shut the door on a whole lot of other opportunities like programs that would have actually considered you if you came in with just step like if you applied with just step one score now for us md grads and stuff like that that's fine even though they're sort of starting to lean away from that but if you're an img you do want to have both your step one and step two scores and even for starters you need step one and step two in order to um, be ecfmg certified I know people that have actually done that, like applied for a match um, only with step one, and most times it didn't really pan out well, just because, well, tell you what, unless you scored like crazy high out of this world and you're thinking, well, somebody would definitely notice me with this, just applying with step one um, exam score, then I guess you want to take that risk. But to be honest, it's really not worth it, especially if you're an IMG. It makes more sense to go ahead and get uh, complete your step USMLE step one and USMLE step two exams, and then um, go ahead and apply at that point. The other reason why you shouldn't even do that, like um, apply with just step one score is because, say you go apply with step one score and it doesn't work out for that application season, while well, you didn't match, say you got two, three interviews or whatnot, but didn't successfully match into residency. Well, guess what? The following year, you now become a second time applicant. And we all know when it comes to this whole residency craziness and application cycle, the repeat applicants, they're not usually as successful as the ones as the first time applicants, so to speak. Now, I'm not saying if you didn't match the first time, you cannot match, but all I'm saying is your chances at successful match dramatically decreases after they see that, oh, you've gone through the match the first time and didn't match and stuff like that. So it's some people still match, but then again, why would you want to put yourself through that situation, right? If there is a chance at you um, even getting into residency at all, if you have that opportunity to get everything together, I mean, step one, step two, all your stuff, right? Um, the letters, the personal statement, just the entire package, like making sure you have everything all put together before you apply. That's what I would highly recommend. Me personally, that's what I did. Um, I waited to get everything. And if you plan early, you can actually get all of these, um, these things done. Even though, yes, we do need ECFMG certification uh, before we start residency, the only thing is you only need ECFMG verification. That's the difference. So ECFMG verification before you can apply, before you can actually enter the match, like to be able to rank programs and stuff like that. So those are two different things though, ECFMG verification and ECFMG certification. So the certification part is, you know, where you get the actual certificate saying you've completed uh, your medical school, um, you presented them a proof of your diploma, everything like that for them to issue that. But as far as the ECFMG verification, they only need confirmation from your school that um, you've actually like met whatever criteria they have in place. And also you pass in USMLE step one and step two. Because once you're verified, then you can actually enter the match itself. That way, like even after you go through interviews, you'll be able to rank programs. If you're not ECFMG verified by the time ranking opens, unfortunately, you won't be able to rank those programs where you interview. So automatically you'll be taken off. So that's the important thing, something to keep in mind there. Um, it's one of those things I had to research and find out for myself during application season. You know, going through the cycle, especially as an IMG, there's so many things that people don't tell you. So my final answer to that question is no, you should not apply with just your USMLE Step 1 score uh, for residency, especially if you're an IMG, you shouldn't do that. Try to get Step 2 and then you can go ahead and apply um, after you've had everything else like most of your rotation. A lot of places say after you've completed 
like your core rotations, um, then you can actually make the move to apply. But as long as you have everything, you know, the letter of recommendation, everything else that's required for application, I think it makes sense to apply. Um, that's all I have for now regarding that question. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can email me, text me, or I mean, post your comments, okay? I appreciate y'all for subscribing. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, like. Thank you so much, guys.